Microsoft Word being a word processing application, provide word users more features and capabilities to create a good looking and professional document. Now, after creating your word document within Microsoft Word, based on editing and also formatting, you should have an easy identification of your word document that is based on the number of pages available. To easily identify your pages within your word document, then you need to indicate it with page numbers. And what are page numbers in Microsoft Word? Page numbers are the number of specific pages in a word document. And a word document with page numbers shared in a soft copy or hard copy format give readers easy identification and also readability. So when you have page numbers available in your Word document, any user that gets access to that particular document will have easy identification of the document which has its own content because of the page numbers available and it's going to provide an ease readability for the Word user. Now. I have this interface open and let me jump straight forward to the front stage view and show you how to insert a page number or page numbers into your Word document. This is my well created document which are well formatted and edited. And when I move to the left bottom corner of this Word document, I have a feature known as the status bar which I'm going to have a complete tutorial on this channel. So wait for a notification on your YouTube page. When you get to this section, we have page one of three. This tells me that I am currently situated in page one, but I have three pages available, which consist of my content as a word document. Now, when you scroll down, this is the end of this page one, but I have no page number reflecting here. And when I scroll to page two, I also have this document and there is no page number reflecting here and let's jump straight forward to page three and this is the end of page three and there is no page number reflecting now if this word document is shared electronically or in a hard copy format to be read by users if there is no page number reflecting they will find it difficult to glance through the individual pages but when you have page number reflecting it gives them a clear overview of the document and its content based on the available page numbers. So in this case, how can we insert page numbers into Microsoft Word? Let me quickly jump to the beginning of this document by holding control key and the letter home. So now that I have this overview, let's move to the menu bar and we have these tabs available. I'm going to click on the insert tab this insert tab provides this insert ribbon and in this ribbon we have group of pages if you want to learn the overview or the complete tutorial of microsoft word i have a video that describes that and i will link that video in the description below that is going to showcase you all the features of microsoft word now that we have this ribbon activated we move straight forward to the header and footer group that is this particular group and in this group we have the page number option so when you place your pointer on this option we have a screen tip that says add page numbers number the pages in your document you can choose from a variety of predefined looks or select your own format so when you click on this option this is the pop-up option you are going to obtain and we have so many options available we have top of page we have bottom of page page margins, current position, format page numbers, and remove page numbers. I am going to take my time and illustrate to you all these options available in the page number option so that we can have an overview of it and know when to add the page number and the kind or the type of page number that we need to modify our available Word document. So now that we have this option, let's utilize the first option, which is top of page. So when you place your pointer on this, you are going to obtain this side menu that relates to the first option. So we have plain number one. So these are all predefined page numbers available. And that is linked to the first option. So you can use your scroll bar to navigate.
so as you can see as we are navigating you can guess different kinds of page number formats and if you are satisfied with any of them you can just choose that particular page number so let's assume that I choose this particular page number which is bracket 2 so I'm going to click on this now because our first option is the top of page this page number is going to reflect at the top margin of this particular web document therefore when I scroll down so now we are in page 3 so you can see that we have three here if i move up we have this as page one when we move upwards this is also set to page one that means there is a formatting because i have been working on this particular document i have a specific formatting that i've given to this that is why we have this reflecting here and as you can see this becomes page three so in the normal sense this should become page two because i have to utilize some settings so i'm going to make that happen very soon and that is when you look at this section we have an additional tab here which is header and footer i'm going to click on it and to move to this group and click on page number and i'm going to utilize the format page number option and you can see that this is set to continue from previous section i'm going to choose start and then choose okay and now you can see that i have modified this page number because i set this to continue from previous section that is why we had page one in the first page and also we had page one in the second page now this has been corrected so when i move to page one this is page one page two and this is page three so if i want to have my page numbers reflecting at the top margin of my word document i can easily do this so this is how to insert page numbers using that first option that we encountered now when you are done with the insertion of your page number you can click on this option that says close header and footer or you can double click on any section of your page area and now this has taken effect if you want to take off or if you want to remove the page number you just double click on that particular section which is the header option and when you double click you have this option available then we move back to this option that says page number and choose remove page number and now this is taken off so that is the first option which is top of page now let's move to the second option when you click on the insert option and then move to page number and then choose bottom of page this also provides you with different kinds of page number formatting and then you can glance through and choose the kind of page number formatting that you want this time around i'm going to select this and then i'm going to double click or choose this particular option so when i move upwards this is page one of three and this is page two of three and the last page consists of page three of three and this is beautifully done so you can see that this is going to give readers the overview and also the identification of different kinds of pages and their related content so this is the bottom of page and as i said if you want to remove it you just double click and this becomes the footer then you move to this option which is page number that is located under the header and footer tab click and choose remove page numbers and that is going to remove it and then later on you can click on this option so that those page numbers will be ignored now let's move to the next option you click on the insert tab choose page number choose page margins in this particular option you can see that we have four options available here we have the ascent bar left we have the ascent bar right we have the vertical left and also we have vertical right so based on your overview and also the way you want your page numbers to be identified you can choose any of these 
predefined options i'm going to select this particular option and what you can see here is that we have our page numbers located at the left margin of our word document therefore this is page three if i scroll up this becomes page two and this becomes page one and if i click on this option or double click then you can see that these are reflected here and as usual if you want to remove you can double click on any of the margins which is the header or the footer then you move to the page number option and choose remove page numbers let me undo and show you another method you can use to remove your page numbering from your word document in this case we are not going to utilize the header and the footer tab rather we move back to the insert tab choose page numbers and then choose remove page numbers and this is also going to remove your page numbering from your created word document let's move to the next option when you click on this we have current position this is where you are going to locate your blinking cursor or your insertion point and then that is where the page number is going to be located so in this case if i place my mouse pointer here and click this is where the cursor is blinking and therefore when i move back to the page number option and choose current position and then choose any of the predefined page numbering So now you can see that i have page one of three and if i want to make it stand alone i'm going to press the enter key so that i have page one of three here. but let's move to the next page and see what is going to happen we are supposed to get page two of three but we don't have that so what we can do is to also click and choose a location move back to the page number option and choose current position and this time around i'm going to choose the same formatting so now you can see that we have page two of three and i'm going to hit the enter key to make this also stand out then let's move to the last page page number current position and then then we have page three or four because we have created another page in our word document so this is how to also utilize the current position page numbering in microsoft word so if you are also okay and also depending on your preference if you want to use this particular option you can do so and that is an option to you as a microsoft word user so this is how to utilize the current position page numbering in microsoft word so i'm going to ignore this by going back to the insert tab page number and choose remove page numbers but in this case because this is in the current position what you can do is to click and use control and the backspace to delete so this particular numbering option you need to erase them manually So we are back to our normal word document view now let's move to the next option insert tab page number and then we are going to choose format page numbers this is where you have the option to set a default page numbering option that will relate to the kind of word document you are creating or you have created so when you choose this option it says change how the page numbers look in the header or the footer option so when i click i'm going to have this beautiful dialog box that says page number format this page number format dialog box is optional to you you can utilize it and the first option that you see is number format when you click on a drop down arrow and currently it is set to one two three when you choose this 
we have other options here so if you want to have them in numerals you can choose this if you want to have them in letters you can choose this and if you want to have them in numbers you can choose the default option so let's assume that i still want to maintain this i'm going to click and then also you have this checkbox available that says include chapter number this is when you have word styles applied to your headings in your word document to create some chapters you can click on this checkbox and currently i don't have any styles given to my word document so i'm going to ignore this particular option and let's move to the last option which is page numbering that is why we have these two combo box available and this is continue from previous section and also we have start at if you choose from continue from previous version then this is what is going to happen to your document so when i choose this and click on ok and then move back to my document and add page numbers I have page one of four, two of four, three of four, and also I have four of four. This is the option that I checked. Now, if I move back to page number that is under the header and the footer tab and click on this option and move back to the format page numbers. And this time around i am going to choose start at this is when you decide the number that should be the first number of your first page in your word document so instead of you to start at one we can decide to start at two and then click on ok so now in the first page we have page two or four page three or four and we have page four or four and also we have page five or four in this case what has happened is we have not start this particular page numbering from one rather we choose our own number which is going to be on the first page so this is how you can customize your page numbering in microsoft word so when you choose the first option which is the continue from the current section that is going to start in the normal mode but when you choose as start at that is where you are going to have a modification on how to start your page numbering in your word document so that is the option that says format page number and that gives you the look how to change your header and footer page numbering so after doing this you can click on this or you can double click to take effect so now we have our word document well numbered now the last option is when you click on this page number which can be accessed under the header and the footer tab or the insert tab you can choose this and that is going to remove your page numbers and we have already illustrated this option but i want to showcase some option to you under the header and the footer option that is when you move to this options group you have the option to differentiate the first page so if i choose this and move back to my word document you can see that we have page four of three page three of three but when we get to the first page we don't have any page numbering reflecting here this is we have differentiated the first page from the other document this was supposed to be page two of three because of the formatting that we gave to this numbering using the format page number option so folks this is how to add or insert page numbers to our word document to provide easy identifications and also better readability so if this video has been of helpful to you please like share comment and also consider to subscribe so that you don't miss new content or tutorials from this channel on your youtube page thank you and see you in the next one